Welcome to a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Today, we're exploring why solo travel in your 40s might just be the ultimate act of self-love. Welcome to Women Traveling Alone with the Daughters of Sheba Foundation, your ultimate guide for solo female travel. Whether you're dreaming of wandering through bustling cities, exploring hidden gems, or simply finding the courage to embark on your own adventure, our videos are here to inspire and empower you. Here, we share expert tips, destination ideas, and essential safety advice, all tailored for women traveling alone, from packing hacks to navigating new cultures, and from solo trip planning to building confidence on the road, we've got everything you need to make your solo journey unforgettable. Subscribe and join our community of fearless women travelers. Let's explore the world together, one solo trip at a time. Ready to start your adventure? Let's go. In today's episode, we're diving into a topic that resonates deeply with many of us. Solo travel in our life after 40 as the ultimate act of self-love. Why now? Why in your 30s? In your 40s, you're thinking of traveling alone? Well, this decade is a powerful time for many, marked by personal growth, self-discovery, confidence, and the pursuit of fulfillment. Let's explore how stepping out of your comfort zone and navigating the world alone can not only enhance your self-esteem, but also deepen your understanding of who you are. From the streets of Paris to the beaches of Jamaica, solar travel opens up a world of experiences that challenge and change you. We're all about empowerment, satisfying the wanderlust and ticking off stuff off the bucket list. First, let's address the elephant in the room, the fears and doubts that often hold you back from these midlife adventures, having more joy in your life after 40. Will I be lonely? Is it safe? What will others think? These are common concerns, but they shouldn't define your choices. The truth is, solo travel at any age can be liberating, but in your 30s not to mention 40s, it's particularly powerful. You've gained life experience, you know yourself better, and you're ready for new challenges. Hi, I'm Felicia. I was 32 when I traveled for the first time by myself. I took a trip to the border of Montana, where I stayed for about one week, did a little bread and breakfast, did some shopping, and just some sightseeing. Now, everyone had said to me, make sure you don't go out at night alone, don't go in unfamiliar places. So I just mostly traveled in the daytime when I did my sightseeing. Um, I haven't really traveled since, but I would like to do another trip solo. If I could, I'd like to go somewhere more tropical maybe, like try something a little bit more brave, so to speak. My very first time traveling overseas was in this year, January 2024. It was I alone traveling unaccompanied. I traveled alone because I had no one to travel with and I did not know of anyone who would be traveling at the same date as I was. I was excited to go. I count down my days right up to my departure time. I was not scared, but wish I had someone to, that was traveling with me, like a friend or even a family member. Anyway, it was just me alone. Well, 
Um, it was the the, the plane ride was okay. It was okay for me. I wasn't scared. Wasn't afraid. And there was a lady sitting next to me on the flight, and I was saying to her, oh, "This is my first time traveling. I've never done this before." And she said, "Really?" And I said, "Yes." And she said, um, "Welcome." And I said, "Thank you." And I didn't know that the flight attendant gentleman, he was serving the little biscuit and the drinks on the flight, so I didn't know he heard me. So when he reached up to me where I was now, he said, Passenger, this, this is her first time traveling and he was pointing to and he started laughing. And I said, I didn't hear him. So he said, Thank you for traveling with us and I hope you'll come and you'll travel again. And he said, Thank you. Yeah, and he said, These stories aren't unique. Many find that stepping out of their comfort zone leads to incredible personal growth and self discovery. Solo travel allows you to set your own pace, meet new people on your terms, challenge yourself, reflect on your life journey. Practical tips for solo travel Start small with weekend trips, join group tours for part of your journey. Stay connected with loved ones, trust your instincts, embrace spontaneity. So to speak. Um, and if I had to offer any advice, I would say definitely let a family member know or a close friend where you're going to go, how long you're going to be, when you're expected to come back, and just to use common sense when traveling. If you don't belong there, then don't go there. If it's something dark and um, gives you a bad feeling, obviously you shouldn't travel there. You shouldn't go that path. So just proceed with caution and um, always make sure that your valuables are close to you. Like I wear like a little money satchel. I wouldn't carry a big bag that somebody could grab or like take from me. So that would be my best advice to anyone traveling alone. Your 40s can be the perfect time to prioritize yourself and your dreams. It's time to work on that bucket list and have some different cultural experiences. So, if you're ready to embrace the thrill of self-discovery and the joy of your own company, let's get started on this journey together. Your solo journey awaits, filled with discovery, growth, and unforgettable experiences. Because the greatest love story of your life might just be with yourself and the world around you. Like and subscribe for more travel inspiration and share your solo travel stories in the comments below. Also, watch our last videos on solo travel for women over 40, how to eat healthy while traveling. And safe solo travel tips for women. Until next time, happy travels!